Hello, Internet. <laughs> Welcome if you have never joined us before. Um, I'm Jen. I'm Mark. And we are Cruising with the Clemens. And if you are a returning um, guest, welcome back. Yeah, so we're we're coming up on our two-year anniversary. Yeah, October 1st will be our two-year anniversary. A full-time RV live-in. Mm -hmm. And I think we probably thought we were going to make a much different video than we're making right now. Mm -hmm. uh, it was supposed to be like a celebration of like all the amazing things that we've done for the last two years. And to be fair, I probably will still put out all the cool stuff that we've done like closer to our October 1st date. Yeah. But we kind of wanted to explain where we're at today and where yeah. we've kind of been for the last couple of weeks. The reality of life on the road mm -hmm. and that sometimes it's a real struggle. Yeah. So I like we've been struggling for the past couple of weeks um, and if you do follow us regularly then you'll notice that I haven't put out a video. Um, yeah. In so about we, two weeks. We took a couple weeks there where we haven't put out a video. We were doing like two episodes a week for over a month to try to catch up with where we were in our timeline. Yeah. And it was just a ton of work. And, you know, it's not like we're getting tens of thousands of views. Yeah. I mean, and to be <laughs> so, fair, like when we started this, we, you know, we were making the videos one um, to, you know, have a record of our life for our kids to go back because. To this day, they still go back and watch videos, and they're like, "Oh, I remember when we went there and that," and and that brings a lot of joy to us. And then the second one, reason we started doing it is so that our friends and family who thought we were crazy, mm -hmm. right, could see that we're not crazy, and that you know we're, you know, how we're living, and that our kids are not deprived, and we're not missing out on not having a regular house. Yeah. And so those were our first two main reasons. And then we started meeting people who were like. Oh my gosh, you live in that tiny trailer with three kids and two cats? Like, that's amazing. Yeah. I want to hear more about where you're going. So and, then that yeah. became the next part of our videos. And of course, we were watching people that are full-time sailing, full-time RV, mm -hmm. and doing it on YouTube and making it a career. So we thought, let's give it a go. Right. So we've been doing that. And uh, I think our videos probably weren't as successful as we thought they would be. You yeah. know, magically the internet. We're not as interesting as every, <laughs> as we thought we would be. <laughs> We're not spending 40 hours a week making these videos yeah. like some of the pros. But at the same time, it does take a lot of effort to film and edit and find music and do voiceovers and all that stuff. So that part is a struggle. Right. As well as homeschooling, doing all the figuring out where we're going in the world and right. the logistics and everything. And then I work full time. Right. So Mark's working full time. And while I don't have a job, I plan all of our trips. Um, I choose all of our locations. I do the research. And for the, those of you who don't know, that requires a lot of effort. I sometimes will go through maybe six different campgrounds, state parks in the area to try and find the best spot for us that's going to meet our needs, meet the needs so that Mark can work properly. Um, you know, and then our second one is, is it going to be close enough? You know, are, is it going to be a struggle while we're there? Meaning, you know, are we going to be boondocking all week long? And then I've got to worry about the, does Mark have enough electricity to do his work? Um, will the kids have enough electricity? Like, cause we're not set up for solar completely. Yeah. Um, so, and I know some people were like, why didn't you do that? And we've talked about that before because we knew we weren't going to do this in this unit yeah. for like 15 years. And I think that that's the way it's like more cost effective to do that. Um, so, and then on top of that, like part of our, our life is that we are schooling the children while we go. And so we often pick places that are going to be beneficial to them school wise. And yeah. that may be a national park or like, I'm going to tell you the last two weeks we're in new England. Yeah. We are in some of the history heavy States right now. And I can't fit everything in, it seems like. Yeah. Every time I get somewhere, I'm like, oh, this happened here and this happened. And I and I want them to see it all and, and you know, t soak in as much as they can. And we're learning. Yeah. Or we're like, oh, we learned that in school. That's cool. This is where this happened kind of thing. So. Yeah. So the reality is that um, we, we were looking at our YouTube videos and seeing what's popular and what's not. And what's not popular is... is us sort of showing a lot of our adventures. adventures yeah which to us is the interesting part like hey if you are full timing then you can go stay boondock near the grand canyon or you can go see like where paul revere's house was 
like we did this past week. Yeah. Or like you can go see moose or the ocean or, you know, whatever it is. And so we find that part really interesting. I think for a lot of people out there, you guys are more interested in what we're doing here at the camper and how our day-to-day -day stuff goes and like the trials and tribulations. So that's kind of where we're at right now, giving you an update yeah. of like, here's our trials and tribulations. That it kind of explains where we're at mentally, but physically, I can tell you just off camera over here, our awning collapsed. And if you've seen our Instagram, then you saw the video of our collapsed uh, awning. And, uh, you know, everybody says you should bring it in every night and yada yada. And there's all these different things you can do. And for the most part, if there's any kind of wind, we do that. Right. Um, I also always... usually hear any kind of little noise it makes and I immediately get up and bring it in. Yeah. And for whatever reason, I didn't. Um, but we left it out because you had to work the next day. Yeah. And he and wanted I... his work area to be dry because 98% right. of the time Mark works outside. Yeah. We're sitting right where I usually work right yeah. now. So I, use, I have a nice little table in front of us and uh, I can put up my computers and do my work. But um, so we, we left it out. I always have it pitched so water rolls off of it. I think um, maybe for some reason the water wasn't rolling off of it and that it got too heavy based on how it bent. Uh, it might have done that because there was a drizzle. It wasn't like a downpour. It was very light, light rain. Yeah. Um, so we don't know exactly what happened, but basically our awning broke. I mean, it's our fault. Like, we should have brought it in, but you live and you learn. And I think if you do this long enough, it'll happen to you. You yeah. know, like you just get caught off guard with winds yeah. or whatever. I feel pretty good that we made it two years without having an awning issue. <laughs> well, people were asking me on Instagram if I could get parts to replace it. And you could probably buy an arm to replace this thing. But it's all riveted together. It'd be a total pain in the butt to like do. Uh, our awning also has a bent bar. So the bar that folds out is bent from like the first month we got it. We ran into a tree where we had to get and like a really awful campsite. But yeah. That was the most beautiful campsite probably. It's still one of the ones yeah. we've been to. So the, the arm's been bent for almost two years. Uh, that same instant incident caused me to have to patch up the, um, it ripped the awning the itself. So bit. the vinyl's ripped, you know, so it's, it, we're going to just replace it. So that was like one thing that happened. Uh, another thing is our floor that we thought we had decently fixed. Yeah. If you've been following us, then you might know back in April, we had some major work done to the camper because yeah we were explore, are experiencing some soft spots in our floors. And um, we had an RV tech come out and after like long, him really exploring the, the camper floor to figure out what was going on, we didn't have a leak issue. But what we would tell you is that we have an ultralight model. Yeah, They're not the, meant to live in full the, time. The floors, the construction to make it light mm -hmm. uh, is, the most flimsy floor that you could ever imagine. So it's like a, an eighth inch piece of like plywood. Board. Yeah. yeah, there's like board, styrofoam. Two inches of styrofoam. And then more board. And then to top it off, you know, again, because they're trying to save weight, which we understand, they um, put the beams underneath the flooring are further apart. So if you've got five people who are constantly like standing in the kitchen area, or standing right by, you know, the couch area. And we do that every day. And those are the main thoroughfares. We started getting soft spots. Yeah. And so they came up with a solution after he talked to the manufacturer and it sounded good. And those it sounded were, okay. Yeah. It wasn't my preferred method, but it was the best that we could do for the time. Yeah. And so um, we have looked up YouTube videos. This is a fairly common problem in the ultralight models, people that are trying to live full time in them. Um, and it was our it was the best solution at the time yeah so it's extended us several months however the other parts of the floor that were not re um enforced are now starting to be soft and it pretty much now feels like anytime you walk in our camper we're gonna go through the holding tanks yeah. or something it's at it's any moment disconcerting to say the least right. that the floor bends down when you walk right. on it because our unit's only two years old and it, it doesn't matter if it's like cooper at like 60 pounds or us not the, at 60 the, pounds the, the floor sags so yeah. uh the good news is we're heading next week to the hershey pennsylvania rv show yep we're gonna investigate all the new models they got out there um, and the other good news is too that like now that we've done this for two years, our wants for a camper are completely different than when we started two years ago. 
Um, Mostly the same, but very much more specific, I think. Yeah. So we, I think we know a lot more now. Yeah, we know a lot more. I think we did a pretty decent job picking out what we did, mm -hmm. considering the truck we had at the time and the concessions right. that we needed to make. So I think we did a good job for what relatively little research we did. But now we've, we've got a lot more experience, so right. we know a lot more about what we want. So we're considering getting a new one because we plan to do at least a couple more years of RV before we, fingers crossed, get some kind of sailboat and start sailing. Unless um, the lottery happens this weekend. <laughs> it didn't It didn't yesterday. It didn't so, today, but. <laughs> so, uh, you know, so that's a little bit about what we've been going through. Yeah. I don't know if there's anything else you wanted to talk about. No, I think I've, I've been really stressed because there's just, I've, because. <laughs> the anxiety of, of putting out a video consistently every week at the same time, well, I, it weighs on you. Right, well, and then on top of it, I am schooling three different grade level of children. And while they have some individual studies that are based on their level, we do also a, you know, family unit studies for certain subjects also, and trying to make sure that I still have two that can work at the same level. And I've got one who just, he can't, he's just, he's younger than them. So, um, so doing all of that and then, you know, our regular day to day, like planning out our food and you know, where we're going to go, we've been taking lots of public transportation. So that's been requiring me to do lots of research on where we're going to go and park and yeah, and things like that. It's just it's, everyday life has been a little bit. I know everybody has same, challenges. It's, right. You know, I'm just in a we're in a tiny space with our challenges. Right. And saying saying this out loud sounds a little crass to me, but like yeah. every afternoon we're going out and we're doing something because we're in a new area for the week. Mm -hmm. And so we want to go see the area, whether that's a museum or a beach or a mountain or a hike or which waterfall or whatever it is there's always something right and we're so grateful to be able to right. do that and so that part's amazing right but it's like when do i actually edit some video right uh when do i get you know rv maintenance done or you know any of the other things that we have going on so it, it's a balancing act uh yep. we do feel still very much blessed to be out on the road doing what we're doing seeing everything that we're seeing um but you know the reality is that it is there are tough moments it's not all sunshine Rainbow and rainbows and unicorns, yeah. yeah so we just wanted to give you that update explain why there hasn't been a video for a few weeks right uh, i think we'll start filming more stuff around the camper and see how people like that um there's certainly a lot of maintenance that we need to do that like over the next couple weeks. I think in reality what we'll do is we're just going to go to an RV dealer. We're going to see what value they'll give us on the trade-in yeah. and probably just do that and be done with it. Yeah, I um, agree. Because we're going to need a scenario where somebody can take it and we can move everything out of it. It'd be nice to be at the RV dealership and just move everything Into from this it. camper to the next camper. Yeah. Um, so. Right now, uh, I can tell you we're looking probably at another travel trailer like we have now. We are potentially going to see a bunch of fifth wheels. Our truck. We're can... looking at a small, like we're considering a small fifth wheel. Yeah, so we're going to see what's at the RV yeah. show. We're not interested in upgrading our truck, and we really, really, really like the high mountains, so we're definitely not interested in getting something yeah. that's going to so. prevent us from safely traveling through right. the mountains. We have an F-250 with the gas engine in it. It's a 6.2 liter, I think, V8. Uh, I think it tows around like eleven to 15,000 pounds. So I need to go back and check that again because yeah. it wasn't really a concern That's for our this camper. Week's homework. This weekend's homework is to yeah, because check out, recheck the specs of the truck. Yeah, tractor. so when we go into the, the RV show, we know what we can look at and get uh, for a reasonable weight fully loaded so if you made it this far in the video thank you very much for sticking with us that was sort of a rambling all over the place rant yeah. um, but if you have some suggestions on what kind of videos you would like to see from us or if you enjoy watching our videos let us know every once in a while because it makes <laughs> me feel better and yeah. it makes me like feel good about what i'm doing so and this is part of my job so co-workers friends former co-workers anybody who knows us if you're watching our videos, leave a comment down below. Yeah. I talk to people and say, hey, I watched a video, but I don't see the comments, guys. Let us know what you're thinking uh, and what we're doing in the videos. So All right. thanks so, for watching. Yep. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And thank you, especially to our Patreon members. Yes. Uh, if you're interested in helping us out, then you can go over and check out our Patreon page. Or our Amazon wish list. Yeah, we have an Amazon wish list. It's probably going to grow too, considering all the things I need to do to this thing to get it ready. So 
<laughs> yep. And I should be putting out, I'm going to try and catch up and do a couple of videos. I think, um, get, because we've been to some really cool places the last couple of months and I don't want people to not see them because we had some of the best times there. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to try and get caught up on some videos and, um, Yep, so all that information is down below in the description. Mm -hmm. If you want to link to any of that stuff, it's all down there. Thank you for watching again, and uh, we'll see you next week when we do who knows what in our video. Oh, we'll be at the RV show. I guess that'll probably be the video. Yeah, it's, we're it's... probably going to show you guys some of the models that we're looking at and what it comes down to. Yeah, awesome. Okay, thank you.